Good morning. I'm just going to show quickly how with a contact instrument we can enable pitch bend to actually be registered by it. So for example here, the pitch bend is doing absolutely nothing, which I find is typical for a lot of the Spitfire stuff. But we're going to be using Spitfire chamber strings and we're going to be adding the pitch bend response to it. So we click on the edit, we go to the group editor, we click on edit all groups, we get rid of this click on edit all groups to just make sure it changes all of the sounds in the patch and then just here mod we just click on this and that then brings up this to add a modulator we go to external sources and we go to pitch bend and what this does is that it tells the contact instrument that it will now receive messages from an external modifier in this case the pitch bend wheel and right now what that will do is to change the pitch bend and so that the the top the sort of like you know the maximum and minimum values will be plus or minus two semitones and that will now sound like this beautiful and obviously we can make it less just for little kind of distortions and waves and of course we can do and probably we can add that multiply I actually haven't tried this, but I'm just going to do it here. So well, let's try add it. Cool, so we can get really, really silly and stuff like that, but that can be useful for really slow, drawn out rises. Um, yeah, anyway, I didn't actually realize that it was that you just do that. Uh, once you're set, you just hit the uh, close the hood and it's as if nothing ever changed. <laughs> Yeah, it's just sort of there. So nothing's reflected in the actual UI, but it's just changed in the background. Anyway, um, I didn't realize that it was that easy to do. Um, and thanks so much to Paul Thompson of Spitfire Audio for doing a little video where one of the things he shows is that. So check out his video of easily, easily create playable clusters in contact. Um, yeah, and thanks very much. Have a great day.